We've been using rings on the floor with my primary and grade one students and talking about sound and no sound. And we have big bags which they can toss into the rings and they can create whatever pattern they would like. So then we would clap, once they're finished, we would clap and say, ta, ta, rest, rest. And I actually walk by the rings as we go, so ta, ta. So I'm moving and they can hear my footsteps even when there are rests happening in the rings. They can choose to put their bag in or leave it out. So that's their, their choice. So today we progressed to putting the rings on my whiteboard, which is magnetic. I just use these little hooks so that the rings go in there. I handed out four magnets that go up and choose whichever ring, and they can put their magnet in or leave it out. If they don't want to put it in there, they can put their magnet in the magnet garage. <laughs> And if they put it in the magnet garage, then they can get a marker and they can put a rest in the ring instead of doing a magnet. So then we would clap that rhythm. One, two, ready, here we go. Ta, rest, ta, rest. And you can either get them to say it or you can get them to clap it. What I do with my students, if they are clapping it, they don't say anything for rest because you're making music and in the music when I'm playing, I don't yell out rest every time I'm resting. Neither do we do that when we're singing. But if we're speaking it and we are actually naming this ta, then we can also name that rest. The other uh, element that I add into this is that I actually start talking about beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, which helps when we get to recorder or handbells or other instrumental music way later in their elementary careers but then we can talk about what's happening on beat three and what's happening on beat four. So they get an association of four beats. Grade ones and twos came in today and they wanted to do a TT. So of course we needed two dots in our circle and then they, they said, well, we have to do this. And so then they fastened together. You can actually start talking about the fact that the, the stems go up the side so it doesn't look like cherries. So you don't want that. You actually want them on the sides. And you should also talk about the fact that TTs can be fastened that way as well. And inevitably, the first time you do that, they'll say, that's upside down, which it is. But in music, they happen right, right, upside down and right side up. So this is just a very simple, and they love to put magnets on the board. They love the feel of them. They like to put them on. They like to use the markers. And, and the magnet garage was quite a hit, actually. So if they don't want to use their magnet and they want to create a rest, they put their magnet in the magnet garage and someone else can use that magnet to create a TT. So there's something you can do with magnets and hoops and rhythms. Thanks.